my name's Jenny. I'm going to be coming to you today as part of the 12 days of Christmas. Um, today we're going to be doing some seated yoga. So it's very gentle um, and everything can be adapted, so don't worry. Um, all we're going to do is just allow yourself to have a dining room chair. Make sure you're not on a lounging chair and make sure you've got enough room just to be able to reach this way. There's a small movement of legs, but other than that, just make sure that you don't overdo it. And if it feels as though you need a break, then take a break. You can pause it and then rejoin back in any time that you want to. Okay, for today, what I want you to do is shuffle your bottom forwards to the first third of the chair, which you might be used to, again, if you've done any of the classes, if not, it's just lifting the hip up and walking forwards. Why the first third of the chair? It activates your tummy muscles and your lower back muscles. These are your core muscles, which are very important when you're doing any form of exercise. It also just stops us from relaxing. So all I want you to do is imagine you have a thread attached to the ceiling and just try and imagine that you're wearing a pair of trousers one size smaller than you're currently wearing. So you're engaging through the core muscles and I just want you to roll your shoulders and release. Sometimes when you focus on a new activity, the shoulders will come up and you will feel tension and that's not what we want. We're aiming to release that tension. So all I want you to do is think about thread, engaging the tummy muscles and breathe. So you're gonna breathe in through the nose and then breathe out through the mouth. So we're just gonna breathe in and then breathe out. Lovely. So all we're gonna to do to start off with is just roll our shoulders, take it all the way up, release and then down. So you're gonna breathe in, roll the shoulders, release and down. One more and then from there, we're just gonna take the arms above our heads and then release down. So taking a nice breath in, breathing in, and then breathing out. So two more. Again, the movements can be adapted if the hands don't go over the head. You can keep it just to shoulder level and then release. We're gonna hold on to one side of the chair and you're just gonna do a very base, little fold down to the side and then come up, holding onto the chair, taking a very small sideward fold and then release. We've got one more to do each side slowly coming down, slowly coming up, breathing in and then breathing out. So this time, as we bring the arms above the head, we're gonna do a very small little roll forwards and then breathe and then coming up. So you're not bringing the nose all the way down, you're just rolling through so that they touch around the back of the legs and then slowly coming up. And then one more, a little slow roll through. So this is a swan dive. From there, we're going to release and take one hand down to the chair and then slowly bring the arms up if that feels okay. If not, you're gonna keep the arm down and then release. Gonna to hold to the chair, you're going to lean down and if it feels okay, taking the hand above and then release. We've got one more of these sideward folds, slowly coming up and then release. And last time, so again, make sure you're not holding your breath, breathe and then release. From there, we're gonna take the feet just a little bit wider so that they're around the distance of your chair. Okay, no further. If it doesn't feel comfortable on your hips, then just keep them at an angle that feels good. What I want you to do is take one hand out, followed by the other one, stretch as though you're really trying to reach towards your sides. So each wall you're trying to reach to, and then I want you to look over to one side. You're going to really think about this. This is a warrior two position. So warriors are the strongest positions in yoga. Think of your shoulder blades and think about squeezing the walnut between your shoulder blades. So you're going to breathe. And then all we're going to do is hold on to the side of the chair and then come up. Release, coming back to warrior two position. So palms facing down, draw the shoulders back and then hold on to the side of the chair, release and looking up. And then slowly back and then release. Roll the shoulders and then we're just gonna do the same to the other side. So again, 
drawing the arms out, shoulders back and down, looking beyond the fingertips, really trying to reach for those walls, coming down to hold the chair, one arm comes up, looking up, really thinking about balance, keeping those tummy muscles tight, coming back to warrior two, and then slowly release and coming up. And then from there, coming back and release. Roll the shoulders, really good. Okay, from there, we're gonna do a small eagle pose. So what I want you to do is very elegantly just cross at the ankles. So again, with hips, you need to be careful not to cross the legs, you're only crossing the ankles. And then from there, your top leg, the opposite arm comes up. So you're about to tie yourself in some knots and then hold. So it hooks underneath, comes through and hold. This is a lovely opener for the shoulders. If you're thinking, I can't do that, then just bring the elbows together and then just lift. You're opening through the shoulders and breathing. So you either wrap through and hold or breathe and release. So just so you can see from here, we're just up and holding. From there, you're going to breathe just for three and then two and then one, slowly untangle, release the feet and breathe. Roll the shoulders and then we're going to do the other side. So again, we're not crossing over. You're very elegantly just crossing through the ankles. Opposite arm comes up, hook underneath, come through and hold. Again, if that's too uncomfortable, we hold one elbow slightly lower, bring the arms up and hold. So it's a lovely opener through the shoulders, breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. So again, holding just for two more breaths. And then one more. From there, release and roll the shoulders. Okay, uncross. And then take the feet again as wide as the chair will allow and only working with what feels comfortable, just making sure feet are forwards. From here, you're going to bring the arms up into a right angle into moon god pose. So from here, you're gonna squeeze those shoulders back. So they're not coming down, they're keeping up. Squeeze the shoulders and then come into a sunflower. So you roll forwards release, bring the arms above the head, breathe and release, rolling forwards just a little bit and then slowly release, coming up to five point of star and then squeeze those shoulders back into moon god and then release to five point of star, squeeze again, it, just listen to what your body says, don't over squeeze, it's just a beautiful one for releasing tension, Five pointed star, last time, squeeze those shoulders and then release. And then into sunflower, rolling forwards, release coming up. And then just two more, breathe and release. And then one, lovely, roll the shoulders. Okay, last little bit. We're just going to take the feet again to the same width as the chair or as far as feels comfortable. Taking one arm onto the midsection, you're going to just look up into seated triangle, looking up to the ceiling so you're stretching through the waist. And again, looking up will be harder if not just look almost on a diagonal. Release and coming down. Again, elbow to midsection of the leg, so you're not on the hip and you're not on the knee. From there, looking up, release, stretch. Again, if it doesn't feel comfortable, keep the head looking on the diagonal. If not, it's hard to look to the ceiling, release, and then down. So last little bit, rolling the shoulders. From there, into single forward fold. You're just gonna stretch one foot forwards. So as though you're doing one of the stretches we do in the classes, you're just simply going to put one hand onto the midsection and just roll forwards. Breathing in, just working as far as feels comfortable for you and then release, rolling up each vertebrae, attaching that thread to the ceiling, 
bringing the leg in and again just straighten as far as feels comfortable you don't have to worry about straightening the knee completely and again we're just going to put all the hands onto the bent leg a forward fold slowly coming forwards and then slowly coming back and release from there breathing in release roll the shoulders and then very gently just taking head to one side come back to the middle and over to the other side from there bring your hands together give yourself a bow namaste well done a very small introduction to seated yoga it's just designed to help release through the shoulders and relieve all of that stress from wrapping and everything else that you have going on enjoy and thank you